Okay, so now that the uh, LED engine is completely pre-tinned, we can um, go to uh, the next step, which is basically wiring all the positives together. Um, this is obviously, again, assuming igniter, where igniter uses the common positive and then uh, the negatives get switched to turn on each individual color. So I found that the best way, instead of running a bunch of positive wires, is to actually uh, bridge all the positive connections together. Um, so I'm going to show one of those, and then I'll probably do all the rest off camera and come back to it all completed. So what you do is, and this is where the small tweezers come in handy, you take a small little piece of wire like this one. This is a 30 gauge, um, and I've stripped it already. And then what you want to do uh, is pre-tin this wire. Now for wire, you can use a little flux. It's not as necessary. Um, but I'm going to use a bit, just a teeny bit. So just tap it on there, get a little solder on that end. This is really small. It's going to be hard to see on the video. So then tap this end, get a little solder on there. Good. Okay. Okay, now, there's a puny bit of glue there from some other project. Okay, now this is where these little tweezers I was talking about come in handy. So I'm going to grab this wire with the tweezer, and I'm going to stick one end on this positive and glue it down. Now here, I've, your iron doesn't need to be as hot as here. I, I usually leave it at about 375 uh, degrees Fahrenheit here, which is about 700 degrees uh, Celsius. So that's a, like I use about 410 degrees Celsius for the when I'm actually wiring, doing the pre tinting of the LED engine. So I turn it down a bit, but still more than I normally use because I normally use about like three around uh, a little less than 700 for my normal wiring. All right, so here we go. You just touch, put the wire on there, and just touch it together until you see the solder flow. And you'll see the solder kind of flow around the wire. And there it is. So that side's soldered. Uh, now we can hit this side. Just kind of hold it down. Until the solder melts. And there you have it. So now, you can see if I give the tweezer test, that's soldered on there.